Welcome back, lads, as we bring you another epic 500-player battle for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Remember, every unit you see today is a player. I'm looking forward to this one, guys, so let's jump in. Need some help with this. It's Bretonia versus the Coalition Clans. We're about to witness these two rivals clash once again. The Coalition is on the retreat from Janzak. The BRE are in pursuit and gaining on us. Our forces are tired but must face and turn the BRE vanguard as they catch up with our rear forces. BRE forces arrive on the battlefield. Coalition flags have been spotted in the distance and the army begins to form up. Bretonia has many noble houses. Each of the flag and shield colours you see here represent a different house that unify under the BRE flag. The Bretonians move out towards the coalition positions across the river. It seems the coalition rearguard have noticed the BRE troops and are racing to get into position before they catch up. Among them are hosts, Kingdom of France, SVCI, Kingdom of Horde Land, and many, many others. I'm still learning the names of all the groups, guys, but if you were fighting in this battle and want me to mention you in the next video, write your clan name below. As the BRE make their way across the river, the Coalition have no choice but to form their battle lines and mount a defense. SVCI and the Kingdom of Hordeland down there are slightly away from their allies. The BRE rushing in to try and take advantage, but it's just too late. The rest of the coalition forces arrive and the BRE decide to form up. I've got to hand it to them guys. Although they're the enemy, their shields and flags look incredible. The BRE form a perfect line, waiting for the charge order from their king, Luan Leongor. Oh, and here we go, lads. The BRE once again being the first to charge in. This looks so cinematic with all those flags waving in the wind. Coalition cavalry sweeping through on the right there, looking to take out the BRE archers getting a flank on our position. The battle lines are barely holding together. I think we're just on the cusp, guys, of breaking out into an all-out wall. King Luan and the Knights of Bretonia taking out several of the Coalition troops from the back. That's going to be damaging. Oh, and the Coalition Cavalry also charging the BRE from the side. I think we just witnessed the numbers dropping quite heavily there. Oh, and Bretonia coming in for another charge. These Knights are relentless. The BRE archers here getting a great flank on our position. They're going to take out quite a few men from that angle. The battle is now a complete mess. We've got pockets of clans littered all over the battlefield. It's really difficult to see who is who in this one. The coalition archers are way out in the open of the field. It's going to be really difficult for them to hide from the cavalry. The numbers are fairly even. It looks like the BRE are just slightly ahead. We're down to the last handful of players on the battlefield now. Most units lie dead or wounded on the battlefield. It's coming down to these last few players to decide the outcome of this battle. The BRE still have a lot of archers left. While they're weak in defense, they can deal out a lot of damage if they land the right shots. The Coalition Cavalry are doing their best to take out these archers, but it's all in vain. The BRE doing a good job of blocking them. We're coming down to the last couple of seconds of the battle, guys. It looks like the BRE are miles ahead now. The Coalition down to 15, 14, 13. Oh, they're dropping like flies. King Luan of Bretonia has been dismounted. If the Coalition can get in, that could be a huge loss for BRE. But no, King Luan gets on a horse, escapes unscathed. It's all over, guys. Two units from the Coalition left. They're not going to take out the remaining 37. 
GG. Words cannot describe, guys, just how fun these battles are. The BRE organise them every Sunday. I personally play for a clan called the Kingdom of Hordaland. I'll post a link to their Discord in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you think I did a good job, please like, comment and subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next one.